Assalamu alaikum. Today we are going to demonstrate the first experiment which is to determine the center of pressure. At first, uh, let's check the description of the apparatus. Now I'm introducing the apparatus. We will need for this experiment. The apparatus is comprised basically a rectangular transparent water tank which supports a toroidal quarantine of rectangular section complete with an adjustable counterbalance and a water level measuring device. Now firstly we will take some necessary measurements. We will take the inner radius of the curvature that is small r. It is uh, from the point O pivot to the inner radius and that is approximately 10 centimeter. Now we will take the outer radius of the curvature that is capital R which is almost 20 centimeter. Now we will take the width of the plane surface that is small b which is about 7.5 centimeter. The height of the plane surface capital L which is 10 centimeter and the distance from pivot to the hanger uh, that is small z equal to 27.5 centimeter. Now let's follow the steps to complete the experiment. The apparatus is placed in a splash tray and level correctly. The length L and the width P of the rectangular surface and the distance R from the pivot to the top of the surface and the distances uh, from the hanger to the pivot that is small z that already we recorded. The rectangle surface is positioned with the face vertical and clamped. The position of the movable jockey weight is adjusted to the given equilibrium. When the balance pin is removed, there is no movement of the aperture. The balance paste is replaced. Water is added to the storage chamber. Now, first of all, we are doing this for the partially condition. This will create an out of balance counterwise moment in the apparatus. Now a mass M is added to the hanger and water is slowly removed from the chamber via drain hole such that the system is brought almost to the equilibrium. And now a clockwise moment is marginally greater so that it is balanced. Now water is slowly added to the storage chamber by a dropper until the equilibrium is attained. But now we don't need that because it is now in a stable position. At this condition the drain hole is closed and the balance pin again removed to check the equilibrium. Now that is the time we will record our readings that is y1, y2 and m. We can take the measurement of y2 and from the equation we can measure the y1. And from the weight that need to be equilibrium will be used for capital M. Now we will take uh, cur uh, currently three measurement for the partially condition. After completing the three measurements, now we will do for the complete submergence condition. 
Now we will add more water to the chamber. And again we will follow the same procedure for the equilibrium. We will balance the weight. And now when it is in the equilibrium situation, we will take the measurement of Y2. We will use the scale in the upper portion for the complete submergence. And we can take the direct measurement. And from the equation, we will calculate Y1. And the weight we used for equilibrium that will be uh, added as capital M. And later we will repeat the steps three times and take three measurements from for the complete submergence. 